y'all want to know the truth let me tell you the truth because it doesn't add up <laughs> my son got out the car supposedly and left his phones supposedly and Jalen claimed he was looking for my child a very littered area right next to Vizcaya this ain't the hood we don't live in the hood I looked at the time and it's 11 30. LJ knows he has to get home before midnight 12 o'clock comes no LJ I said this don't make no sense it didn't make no sense so I texted him I said yo where are you no response 12 15 I was like yo what's going on nothing from my child so I text his friend Jalen Jameson who told me LJ was in the bathroom and his phone was dead and I said to him don't lie to me we live in the same complex so then I went to LJ's location on his phone because he always turned it on that's how good my child was and I saw the car moving from this guy and coming coming down Flamingo and coming 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 home so I watched it my mind says screen record this car moving I don't know why I did that I screen record the car coming from the location on LJ's phone the car came in the car didn't turn to come to my house the car went to Jalen's house and in my mind I'm like okay I waited LJ still didn't come call his phone nothing so I said something don't feel right maternal instincts ladies fathers mothers go with your gut feeling don't ever ever second guess it <laughs> I jumped out of bed and I jumped in the car you won't believe when I got to where the car was it was in front of Jalen's house parked up lights off everybody gone to fucking bed so I'm in my mind they want me to think that my son is in there and I should go home right so I started calling again nothing then I text the boy yo why LJ's not answering what's going on then he tells me they were at the park and LJ got out the car and he was looking for me don't know where he went I said what I immediately went straight to the park and started looking for my son and called the police called everybody I knew and they started looking for my son you know what's the worst part about this this kid Jalen Jameson went and got his parents his parents went with him to go look for my child. Nobody called me. Nobody came knocking on my door. Nothing. Nothing. You made me wonder why you as parents did not pick up the phone and call me. I didn't even get to see my child. You as parents know this went to help your child look for my son did not call me didn't even call the cops till after I called the cops huh who are you what kind of human being are you these people have not even come by and said sorry or give their condolences or anything this little kid that used to eat at my house go on vacation with us I fed him like my own, have not even showed up and tell me what happened to my son. Y'all imagine my pain and my anger. Can you even imagine how I feel? It's just the grace of God that's keeping me. 
I swear to God. And that little boy named Asher. That little boy named Asher is the reason why I'm still breathing. Him and my daughter. They are the only reason. They are the only reason. Only reason. And you're gonna say my son drowned? Make it make sense. And as parents, you didn't think to come call me? And that f***ing little kid, you didn't think to call the cops? When LJ supposedly be went missing? Huh? You know what? My hands are clean. I have to live with my child being dead. I hope they can live. I hope they can sleep because I pray to God that the pain that they have caused me and my family will multiply. I pray everything they do will be cut off. I pray everything that they touch will perish. I'm a child of God. And so is my child. I didn't deserve this. My child was getting ready to go to college. He had dreams, he had goals, he had aspirations. All gone, all taken. I couldn't even have an open casket with my child. I didn't even get to see him. The only memory I have of LJ that Tuesday night. He kissed me on my forehead like he always does and he tells me he loves me. Kiss Asher. He told him he loved him. And I'll see you later, my youth. That, that later never came. He never came back. He never came back. Now I have to tell Asher when he gets older. What happened to his big brother? LJ taught Asher to swim. Sunday, Asher was swimming from one end of the pool to the next. 